Radiation exposure makes DNA damage, DNA double strand breaks in cells. Most of them are repaired quickly, but a few of them remain in cell nucleus without being repaired. And we have found that they have a paired structure as the tone of chromosome ends, which eventually cause cellular senescence and abnormalities in nuclear envelope structure. This time, as a result of a screening of genes that showed characteristic expression in such cells, ATM and CHD7 emerged from several candidates. CHD7 is a transcription factor that controls the morphogenesis of neural crest cells to develop neurosensory organs such as eyes, ears, brain, and heart. Since CHD7 has an SQ, selling glutamine sequences that serve as an ATM kinase target, we created an antibody against the phosphorylated form of CHD7 and found it strongly reacted with unrepaired DSBs. When mouse fetus were radiation exposed, there was a strong PCHD7 antibody reaction in the neurosensory organs during morphogenesis. This means that transcription factors that control neural cell neural crest differentiation and morphogenesis also have DSB stress response functions. In conclusion, we propose that there exists a morphogenesis coupled to DSB stress response mechanisms during mammary early development. Insufficient amount of CHG7 protein are known to cause fetal malformations. On the other hand, fetal malformations also occur with radiation exposure. If we imagine that CHG7 shortage occurs by fetal radiation due to protein's DSB response, we may explain the cause of radiation-induced malformations. Therefore, these mechanisms also lead to the understanding of malformations caused by fetal radiation exposure. For more detail, please check out our paper.